John, you must be absolutely delighted with the players' efforts after that win. Yeah, I'm delighted with the squad's efforts, to tell you the truth. Uh, you've seen all the, the players who weren't selected. They've been here supporting, uh, supporting the playing group. And I thought the playing group were magnificent. You know, they, uh, to say we've, you know, half that squad are part-time. Uh, all of that squad were in Toronto, was it seven days ago? Uh, so we've, we've done travel back. We've had, we've tried to rest, recover, and then we've tried to prepare as well as we can. And uh, they've made it a very, very special day in, indeed. So really pleased for this, this group. And they're a good team and they're a young team and they're a locally based team and I think you showed what it, they showed what it meant to them tonight when you know when they were under the cosh somehow they found something extra and, uh, and you know they pulled off that try saving tackle or that the dived on that loose ball or whatever but they were really really good today and I'm absolutely delighted for them I'm also delighted for the owner who's invested in this and we are progressing in a sustainable manner and I'm really chuffed for the fans because they've had thin and thin times recently and uh, we've started to have some good times for example against Workington last year some good wins in the championship but obviously today's a very special day indeed what was the mood like in the dressing room John we saw what you were like at full time yeah it was tremendous you know it was absolutely fantastic and we, we spoke you know they've created memories what they've done today they've created memories and uh, the, the most special memories are the ones shared between the playing group and uh, you know they'll shake hands when they meet up 20 years from now they'll shake hands and they'll say remember that Leeds game and they will they'll remember it warmly and the, the feeling that they had in there was, was, was fantastic very special indeed and that's why you're in sport you're in sport for days like today and outcomes like today and it's been good. Very special occasion Bradford on the match John you think Leeds were, were a bit shocked with what they come up against? <laughs> I, I don't know, you'll have to ask uh, Richard and, and Leeds, you know, but uh, we, we were confident with what we were going to play well and uh, fortunately enough playing well at, at the level we played was, was good enough. We, we played a, an eight, eight and a half out of ten game today, so really pleased with what they've shown up, but the challenge now is to do it again for next week when we go to Summer Bash, but they can enjoy living in the moment for today, tomorrow, before we're back in on Monday. And it's a massive result for the City of Bradford, a five-figure crowd, the largest six-round Challenge Cup crowd since Wigan and St Helens in 2012. Yeah, I think it's, 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 a, it's a big day, it is, it's a big day for everyone involved and it's a very, very big day for this club because I think it's sent out you know, a signal to everybody that we are building, we are coming back and obviously Super League is the end goal uh, and we'll have some days where we're, we're disappointed but we'll have some days where we're elated and this is one of them. Callum McClellan scores a controversial try, it's 12-4 John. You could have felt sorry for yourself, aggrieved, but you hit Leeds back with 18 unanswered points. Well, I mean, you know, the, the referee refereed really well today and, and I thought he sent it up to the video ref, they made the decisions. I, I'm not querying the decisions one way or the other. What, you know, I know what the score was in the end, and I know well how how well my players played, and uh, delighted with them. But John, on the back of conceding that that try, you know, to score 18 unanswered points. Yeah, well, it's good. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it was outstanding. I think we've all witnessed how special it was. What's it been to you, John? You've obviously had some very special days in this competition. You spoke in the week about how it's still the pinnacle for you. What's it like to be involved in another day? It's like? great. Yeah, it really is. And you know the the. There's a special sense to a Challenge Cup game, and it's the trap door, you know, your, your heart's racing, the adrenaline's going, there's butterflies in your stomach, and all those, uh, there's element of fear, there's element of anticipation, excitement, and it all gets mixed up together, then all the emotion comes out at the end, and it's it's so special. And that's why I love this competition, I mean, I, I said to dinner that, Aaron, that, you know, this competition means so much to me from being a kid, and it, it's, it means even more now and hopefully I've got some more good days to come. You said in the last round when you were asked who you wanted next leads at home, so go on then another prediction <laughs> you in the last day. I don't even know who's in the last day, so I'm sorry I can't. I can't. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, you know, what we'll do, we'll just, uh, we'll be happy with, you know, whoever we get because uh, all I want is I want it to be at home 
for these people to come back here and have another five figure crowd so hopefully they can enjoy another great day. Just a word for John and Lily, I think the spotlight was probably on him a little bit today being at Leeds Lawney but he seems to handle it pretty well. Good script wasn't he, yeah he wrote a good script, yeah he did, I thought he was fantastic today. I thought his, uh, his kicking game was really good, I thought he was very brave in defence. I thought his decision making with the ball in hand was outstanding so he's had a pretty good day today as Jordan and I'm sure that uh, you know when he goes back to standing Lee he'll have a wry smile on his face. It's a good decision to switch your kicker really isn't it? Yeah well I, I, mean, I mean the kid who took off is 18 years of age uh, so he's, he's just Mr Cool, nothing phases him, what, I, I haven't seen him phased by anything whatsoever. I think we've got a really special kid on our hands here. We've got a number, but he's a special one. Playing in a pivotal position, and uh, it was instrumental in assisting with a try, a try. And then obviously his goal kicking was impeccable, and he just took it over. And just, we just gave him the ball and sent the tee on, and he kicked it. And that's what he's like. It's a young squad, John. Do you believe? That today they'll have some self-belief uh, that they can be as good as perhaps that they might not think they can be. I'd be very surprised if they haven't got some self-belief now, but uh, Jake Webb's up his average age a bit, but uh, <laughs> he did all right today, didn't he? Did you sense Leeds were there for the taking job, given what they're going through at the moment? What were they going well, We didn't know what to expect, to tell you the truth, because losing a coach, you know, it, it can galvanise people or it can upset people, you know, or can feel an element of, of empathy and sympathy towards the departing coach. So we didn't know what to expect, but we rolled that out, we just put it out. We felt they were fragile mentally anyway, and we wanted to play upon that, and we felt that the longer it was close, the more anxious they'd become. And uh, I think that's how it's panned out. So, you know, fortunately, we're on the right side of the scoreboard, and I think the players have got what they deserved. And John, are you worried about my game after the Lord Mayor's Shard for next week in Blackpool, do you think, after what's happened to them? Well, I mean, well, I, I was worried that it was going to be after Toronto show did today and they've proved me wrong haven't they yeah. so i'm happy to be proved wrong again so uh, and, and they tend to do they, they're a real good group of players i'll tell you they're very grounded they're very humble they're very hard working and they love this club and uh, if you've got that you've got half a chance of succeeding